Hi folks, this is Steve Grisetti, co-founder of MoviePicks.com and author of the MoviePicks.com Guide to CyberLink Power Director. And here we are in CyberLink Power Director looking at a basic but uh, powerful tool in the program. We have an actor, as you can see, standing in front of a green screen. We have an alternate background here in our media room. And what we'd like to do is make the background behind the man transparent. In other words, make the green transparent and show the new background behind him. That's a fairly basic effect. It's one you see commonly in special effects movies and you also see it every night on the news if you're watching the weather report where the weatherman seems to be standing in front of an animated weather map. He's actually standing in front of a green screen and the weather map is being swapped in as the background. Here's what our final results should look like. Air temperatures all weekend long. A great time to get out and enjoy Harbor Fest. I have a complete long range forecast coming up for you in about 10 minutes. So we want to take the actor, we want to make the background behind him transparent and swap in a new background. To do that, we need a good key shot. And a key shot is the shot of the actor in front of the green screen. Look how nice this key shot is. The actor is very well lit and the background is nice and evenly lit. We don't have any wrinkles back here. Uh, we don't have any uh, hot spots. We don't have any dark spots. We get a nice even green screen background. Now this could be done with, you can paint the background green. You can buy sheets online that are of this particular color of green. Sometimes blue is used instead, but generally it's a color that doesn't appear in human skin tone. Otherwise the actor too is going to become transparent. And chroma key is essentially telling the program, make everything that is this color transparent. So we're going to take that key clip and I'm going to add it to video track two, not video track one, but video track two. That's an upper video track, even though it appears below the first track on the power director timeline. And then we're going to take our background and add it on the track below. Now, my background happens to be a still photo. You can use, of course, live video or actual video. The advantage of using a still photo is I can extend it or shorten it, and I want it to be the same length as my clip. So I'm going to drag it out so it's the same length as my key clip. And now, and we can zoom in on that if we'd like, just by dragging across the top of the timeline. There we go. You'll see these two clips are now the same length. Our next step is to apply the chroma key effect then to our key clip. To do that, the easiest way here in this program is to just double click on the clip, the key clip here on the timeline, just double click, and that will open up the picture in picture designer. And there in the picture in picture designer, you have a number of cool effects and right at the very top, listed under object settings is chroma key. I'm gonna to toggle that open. By the way, you, you notice as with most designers, you have an express and an advanced view of the designer. If you switch over to advanced, you have more options, but you have chroma key available in either setting. So I'm gonna leave it in express. And then it's as simple as telling the program what color you want to make transparent. So if I just come over here, check the option for chroma key, select this eyedropper, which is called a sampler, and then drag that sampler over here and click on that background. Look at that, because I have a nice even background, it eliminates it immediately. Now I have a couple of options here for making adjustments. If that background was not quite as smooth and even as my background, I can widen the color range. Now, obviously if you widen it too much, you're gonna start seeing the man become transparent as well as the background. But the wider the color range, the more that range of colors will become transparent. This is kind of nice. We do have just a little bit of fringe around the actor. It's a little too smooth, a little too sharp. And if we move the denoiser, we can soften that just a little bit. We don't want to go too far, but that looks pretty good. That's a very nice chroma key effect. Now you notice there's an option here to add a new key. This is an advanced feature in PowerDirector. In the event you have, say, too wide a range of colors in the background, or you have two colors. Anyway, there's the feature here, and if you click on that, you see you get the option to add an additional area that will become transparent. Don't worry about that right now. Let's keep it simple. We're gonna focus on one color. If we got a good key shot, one is all we need. Once that's done, we click OK, and we're done. Voila, our new background has been swapped in and it looks very much like our actor is standing in front of or standing outdoors rather than in front of a green screen. 
Thanks, Mike. And indeed, it is beautiful weather out there, folks. The sun is shining. There's not a cloud in the sky. Temperatures in the 70s. We're going to see these moderate temperatures all weekend long. A great time to get out and enjoy Harbor Fest. Now, if you want to know more about these kind of cool tricks and effects, you'll want to check out the many tips and tutorials we have at MoviePix.com. And if you want to know everything about every single tool in this magnificent program, check out the MoviePix.com guide to CyberLink Power Director. I'm the author. That book's available on Amazon.com. And I hope to see you again soon. Take care.